Alright guys, welcome back. Brand new game mode just came out. King of the Hill is what it is called, and I wanted to show it off here today while it's still new. So you get perks, I picked out my perks, I got the Ender Pearl perk, get free gold perk, and damage reduction perk. And the name of the game is Control Mid, as long as, it's King of the Hill, right? So as long as your team has mid, you get free points, and then these altars on the side, if you control them, they give you, like, re speed, regen, like, random, uh, boosts or whatever, random buffs. So right now you can see we got mid and our score over on the right is going up pretty quickly, which is awesome. And they're going to have to come take it from us if they want to win the game. Now, they do have one of the altars on the side, which means they're going to be getting power, which I think means it is deal more damage. But uh, yeah, we're getting a lot of points. We're getting the points here, which means we might be getting the win. At least so far we're winning. We got the speed altar too, which makes it easier to hunt people down and straight from and all kinds of stuff like that. So, we died. Dying is no big deal in this game. It's actually a great time for us to buy some upgrades. And give me one more gold. Thank you. Buy some armor and sword upgrades, which are permanent for the course of the game, by the way. But in a new game, they go away. And just pearl straight back to mid here because that's why I pick up the pearl perk. Let's you get back into the fight real quick, get three kills just like that, and boom! We have mid, and we're not letting it go anytime soon. Yes, we demand... Oh my gosh, people have these snowmen, and it's awesome. I also have the regen perk. No, I don't even have the regen perk anymore. I just have the uh, resistance perk, so when I'm low on health, I take very little damage, and I have the bonus damage gold perk, so I get... <laughs> better armor throughout the course of the game which is pretty cool. Die please. Die please. One more hit. No! Someone stole my someone stole my kill. It's okay. We're we're keeping mid locked down here. We only got the enemy on a hundred points and we're on eight hundred points, so this game is not even that close. Alright, that's good. I needed to die it's time to buy some better stuff. Got an iron sword now, heck yeah. And let's get straight back to mid. Boom, I'm here. What's up? Mid belongs to us. This ender pearl perk is legitimately broken. Because you can just get to mid so instantly and control it the entire game. Like, look, they have 100 points. We have, like, almost 10 times how many points these guys have. And there's the victory. Yes, indeed. All right, good game. Let's go again, guys. That was a lot of fun. Let's get one more here. But yeah, if you guys are trying this game out, I want to get this video out quickly once this game is released so that you guys can see my strategy because I honestly think it's a really OP to get this Ender Pearl perk specifically. Every time you die, you just get back to mid instantly. And I also think the Gold Rush perk is really good as well. You know what? Maybe this game, let's try Ender Pearl, Gold Rush, and Region. There we go. Because regen's pretty good, too, I think. Getting back free health all the time. But yeah, let's get up here to mid. Looks like there's a lot of them here. You must be defeated. Give me points. There's, like, all of the entire team is here. Okay, we're getting some kills. We're getting some kills. That's all right. Got knocked out. Wait, where's my ender pearl? I died. I should have an ender pearl. Did I pick the wrong perks? Oh. There we go. Now, now we're good to go. We got the mid altar. They got more points than us, but we got both the side altars as well, which means we're going to be quite a bit stronger than them in these fights. Die. There's so many people here, I can barely see anything. And I know it seems like kills don't matter in this game, because, like, you only want to control mid, so it doesn't matter how many people you kill, but actually you get gold for kills, and gold is how you're buying better stuff. So actually, kills matter quite a bit more than it might seem at first glance. Like, hunting down this kill right here. A lot of times people will run away from you in this game, and it's actually way more important than you think to actually chase down the kills and get that gold. Because having better gear, just like every game, right? Having better gear is a pretty good way of making sure you get the win. Die. Give me kills. Give me gold. Give me free stuff. Thank you very... Ooh, hello. You're not taking this from us. No. You will be defeated. You will be defeated. They're everywhere! 
We're killing a lot of people. I'm probably about to die right now because I'm on low health. But let's take out as many of them as we can before that happens. You can get shot off the edge and defeated. You can get shot and I'm probably dead. Good. I want to buy a better sword here. Oh yeah, upgrade all the way to an iron sword. I'm gonna be so much stronger. Let's go to mid. And no, I got brand new stuff. I'm gonna stab you in the face. These guys are like using this weird bridge to come up here. I don't really get it, because, you know, they're not actually in mid, and we're just the ones getting free points, so who cares if they use their weird bridge. Use your bridge all day, dude. I don't care. I will stab you! Yes, dead. And dead. Alright, wait, how am I down here? Let me back up. I must be helpful. No! We won! Hey! That's the new game mode. It's called King of the Hill. It's pretty easy to play, but it's a lot of fun. So check it out, guys. And if you do, don't forget to lock in that Ender Pearl perk. Because it is OP. Hey, guys, I thought about this a bit more. And I think the best perk order is get regen, pearls, and bonus gold. And then halfway through the game, or three quarters of the way through the game, remove the bonus gold perk. Because it's not giving you like that much accumulated advantage anymore. And replace it with the resistance perk to take less damage on low health. Because by that time you should have like prot, diamond stuff, and you should be extremely hard to kill with regen and resistance. Plus the gold isn't going to give you as much benefit because the game's not going to go on that much longer and getting a bunch of gold isn't gonna help. So, that's it for me. We got some wins. It was a lot of fun. Try it out yourself, and let me know in the comments how you do. Until next time, don't forget to go below, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and I will see you guys later.